Good morning, everyone. Um, I wasn't going to do a video um, today. I was going to wait until I finished the Virginia Journal, but I saw something on um, YouTube. It was um, uh, taking uh, large book pages and decorating them so you can make um, something out of them and pockets or uh, journal cards or that kind of thing. And I got to thinking... Um, so I went and picked up one of my larger books. Let me clean up this desk first. I was going to show you two. I need those little guys. Um, I don't know if you can see this or not, but these little uh, scratchy pads that you get to clean dishes with, they're um, a natting. They take all these um, scraps off your table. I'm going to just throw them in the trash here very easily instead of trying to pick them up piece by piece okay set that down and put that back up there so let me check i move my mat so i might not be in screen okay there we go okay so anyway um i thought oh i'm gonna go over and get one of my big books and i'm gonna cut out some flowers because that's what she was doing it's um, Roxy creation uh, Rachel was doing it this morning on a video that I was watching so I have this bonsai book and I was thumbing through it and there's just really not I mean I can cut these out but I don't know that I'll ever use a bonsai um, cut you know picture I actually cut out a few here this one was kind of pretty because it's got the pinks and all um, that I might use on a page or a, a pocket or something. And this one was also kind of pretty with the little peach color. And then this one I cut out was just another small one that I could put on a pocket or something, uh, or collage on. But then I thought, you know, I'm just probably not going to use these very much. I have, you know, uh, several flowers. So, but then I was... Uh, thinking about pockets and so what I did was you know these are the typical pockets I don't know who makes them um, I think um, Patty Veramontes I think that's how they say her name Veramontes uh, she has a, a YouTube channel and she makes a lot of pockets and things with book pages so this is the typical one I think everybody has probably seen this but they're kind of boring and then the this one even has a, a nice plant right there, but I don't like the rest of the pages. So I was trying to think, how can I uniform this and make them look nice? I have this little pocket like that you fold over. I don't know about this one. And then I have this one here too, which is a half a page. But when we um, do what I want to do with these pages, then we can make whatever kind of pockets we want out of them. Okay, so what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to take out a page because this is high gloss also. And um, let me find my exacto knife, which I was doing a lot of crafting. Um, hmm, there's one. I was uh, making some. Dollar Tree lanterns out of picture frames, and it makes they look really easy on YouTube, but uh, they're not. I mean, they're easy to make. It's just that they, it's really hard to glue them together. The everything is very flimsy in that. But it's for a rehearsal wedding dinner, and by the time when we get it decorated, nobody's ever going to touch them. Um, and they probably won't be used again because we're you're actually decorating in somewhat of a Halloween theme. I'm just cutting those few pages out. I don't know. Okay, so let's see. I don't know. These are black. Well, I guess we have to work with what we have, right? <clears throat> okay. So I like, and these are also, you know, the big pages. Um, I also have these here that are from a, a large book that I thought I'd do this too because it's this is what I usually glue on these couple you know I use one page for a long time and and I'm able to glue on it this one has some glue 
So let's do what I'm thinking. And what I'm thinking is to take some napkins, whatever ones you want to do. And we'll see. See, this is not going to fill the page, so we're going to have to... <clears throat> we're going to um, probably have to use more than one napkin. But I... I buy a package of napkins, um, well, Tuesday mornings, but now they've all been closing up. Uh, the other place is the Christmas tree store, and uh, we don't have them in Georgia, but my sister has them in Michigan, and when I was there last time, uh, I was there in July, I went there and bought several packs for like $1.25. It's like these say, um, <clears throat> oh, this was from Home Goods. These were $2.99, which is still not too bad considering how much napkins cost. In some cases, they're very expensive. So, but you get like 20 or 30 napkins and you only use like two or three, and you might share them with other people uh, in Happy Mail. Okay, so I'm going to just leave it like this. And I am going to use my glue stick. And if I get glue on my mat, I'll just I'll just wipe it off because I don't have paper big enough. And you can do this with you know decoupage, I guess. Um, I'm not real fond of decoupage, so it's just I don't know, just just messy and bubbly and. This just goes on so nice. Okay, I'm just gonna do this a little bit and then I'm gonna turn it over just so we don't have too much glue. Okay, and now I don't know if this is even gonna work. I thought I'd just give it a try and if it doesn't work, then I probably won't put the video up. And my granddaughter's coming again this afternoon. Her birthday is September 27th, and she just cannot wait to go birthday shopping. We take I take her shopping every year for her birthday, and I didn't take off that little part that's got the ridges and that on it. All right, so let me see here. Maybe I'll rip that off first let's see because I don't like that stuff on there anyways I pop this and you could I guess you could fussy cut these but the way we're gonna fold it I don't think it's gonna be you're not gonna be able to notice it but it's gonna just give uh, the page a little bit more fun um, the book page. Oh. This is a probably Dollar Tree tape. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Um, because the book pages, you know, aren't very good. But there's a lot of these books that you find that have a lot of great pictures in them, and then, then there's a bunch that, well, that tape doesn't even work twice. Then there are um, several pages maybe in that book that you can't use. So even if you used them for glue pages, you could let them dry and then do this process after. Okay, so I'm just going to we we'll stick a little bit around the edge of that. This may take a lot of my glue. All right. So let's see. Let's see what happens. Cut it up. And I'm going to set that over for a second. One of those baby wipes and get this off.
I saw Gail Augustinelli. She did a whole little thing on on a book on pockets, and um, she had um, Edith Holden uh, book, which is a beautiful book, and both sides are good. So no matter what you do with them, you're gonna get a pretty um, pocket. But I don't have one, and most of my books don't have enough things in them that every page is really nice or pretty. And like this one here is high gloss. And I bought it, you know, a long time ago when I was first starting to do journaling. And I thought, oh, that's a pretty book. That'll be, um, oh, darn, I took my other big scissors out. Um, these are my Tim Holtz scissors. I don't like them that much because, well, I just don't. I like my long, for cutting like this, I like it to be long. Or I could go over to the cutter. Okay, and then after I get this done, I'll fold it up and we'll see. I, I'm hoping that this other side will go on the inside of the pocket. And if it doesn't, then you can do the other side. This is horrible, these scissors. I'm looking for <laughs> other scissors. I know I took them in the other room because I needed them for the other project I was working on. And I got a, rid of a lot of crafting things like, you know, things I can't use for journaling, ribbons and things. I just, you can't keep it forever. So of course you get rid of it and then the first thing you do is you need ribbon for a project. But that was my thought. I said, you know, if I need it, I'll just go buy another spool of ribbon because I may never ever need black and white polka dot till today. Darn it, I got that kind of goofy there. Let me see if I can't. I sh you really need to probably let this dry before you start playing around with it, but we don't have time for that. you're going to have trouble with something when it's because I don't have the right scissors either with handy. I thought I had everything I needed back in my room but I didn't. So I'm going to use a little art glitter glue just to get this corner down because I don't know where that corner is going to end up when we fold it. Alright, so to make the pocket, I'm going to fold it this way and if it's not right, I'll just refold. Let's see, this is the part we're going to turn down I think on this side. So you just fold it in. Um, fours up, up in the middle and then across and fold it like this. And you don't usually use this on a brand new paper. Okay, so what I do then is I fold this one down. Now see, I don't want it that way. I think we're going to have to do both sides. I'm gonna have to, um, hmm. All right, I'm gonna fold this just because. 
Okay, so we fold the first one down just a little bit. Okay, so this one has and then we're going to fold this last one down. Kind of all glued together right now. Okay. Now what I usually do is take this one and fold it Fold it in. Whatever I fold it, I go back and fold the opposite direction. And that way, um, the pockets are on the inside and you don't have to glue them all shut. Then you just glue. I, I just glue the back part, I think. This back page. Or maybe just on these little things. I don't know. I haven't made one of these for a while. So let's see. I think if we do the back as well, I don't think we can do just half of the back. You know, because we have to get this corner. Probably just as easy to do the back. So if you wanted to, you could do a contrast. Uh, napkin, which I don't have um, a handy one, but let's just let's just do the back because these napkins are really lightweight, so they're not going to put any extra weight on your pocket. And also, if you're using um, A regular book page it'll add some weight to it <clears throat> how come the horn array I'm gonna try to get as much of this on here as I can So I saw it, what state was it in? No, it was in, I think, Colorado. Um, they have snow. And we're like 90. And then I talked to my kids, um, and they seem to be weathering this fire okay, even though they're just right down the street from it. I was gonna rip this, but I think it's just it's easy to cut it off. Um, so that's a good thing. I'm not sure if it's contained as today or not. Today is Saturday the 12th, I believe. Yesterday was 9-11. Um, it just doesn't seem like it's come that time. There used to be so much on the news about it. And, of course, I don't listen to a lot of news anymore, so... They might have had more tributes and things like that to the people um, that were involved in that. But I remember that day very well. Very, very scary. I just remember looking at the TV and the, and the plane hit. Oh my gosh. Cheapo tape. The plane... Um, hit the tower and I'm like oh how, what a terrible accident and then it did it again and then I you know I think people realized what was going on I think that was 2000 well I cut it off too short 2001 right I'm sorry guys, I thought I this would be easier for a show and tell type of thing.
think this is too much work for a pocket? Let me know what you think about that. I mean, we do a lot of things that are a lot of work to get it. And then you can take these and um, make other size pockets. You don't. You can use this just like you would a journal type card thing. You can embellish. You know, make journal cards, cut, and, and then do an embellishment on that top. I don't know. Depends on what napkin you use. screen too. I'm trying to stay right here on this little mat. And you notice my table is not wiggling. Um, I now have my tripod thing, whatever you call it, to hold my camera, to hold my phone, is mounted to the wall above my desk. So it's not shaking the table. Now if it's shaking, it's just me. <laughs> it's getting so warm already. It's really, it's only nine o'clock in the morning and my air is not kicking on, so. Or maybe it's just me. Okay, so that's not a perfect, um, cutting job, but I can fix it. All right, so now we're going like this and like this. And I already made these folds, so I should be able to see those. Like that. Okay, so there we go. So if you wanted to do this, you know, get out your decoupage and, you know, do it all like that and then do a whole bunch at a time, then see the back is even cute. So, okay, so let me glue, let's see, we need to glue this down. I don't think, well, I'll put a little dot there, but you really don't need to, to glue that. And then that one down. And this side, you just need to come down here. Glue that. Leave those open. So I think that's kind of cute. Let me see if I um, have a probably too big. Well, no, that fits. So, yeah, so you could, actually that holds quite a bit, the whole width. Okay, so then out here you could always put, I don't think my bonsai would, no, my bonsai, that one's too big, but that is kind of pretty now that I look at it. This bonsai, this bonsai. Hmm. Looks like it might need something a little bit behind it. Just looking at what I have on my desk. 
You know, I like this one on there, but it's way too big. Let's see. I'm just playing, so. because it's a corner one. You think that's too much flour? Hmm. I wonder if I should ink. just lose a little pen every time. How can you do that? What I just did. Oh, there's one I can borrow. I'm trying to, when I find him, I <laughs> put him somewhere where I can put him back in. I was going to get one of those pens with the beads and everything on it, but I don't think this, I think the bottle would tip over. I put the bead in it. This little bottle would. Okay, so I don't know. I don't know. How about some cheesecloth behind it? Let's see. I wasn't planning to decorate it. I was just thinking about So it kind of really didn't matter what color the, um, I'm just going to deaden this down. I think this is Tim Holtz. Um, they're thick and kind of shiny. So I'm pretty sure it's a Tim Holtz. Um, and I don't like them that much because they, you know, they are thick and shiny. I think that's kind of okay. My other fabric tacks on the other side of the room too. We were trying to glue those um, picture frames together, and we bought. We end up buying some Gorilla super glue, and because we were trying to glue the glass back in to the frames, and um, we glued. One, we need to make four lanterns for these tables. So we made um, one and I only got three pieces of glass glued and like maybe three sides of the lantern and it was empty. It only had like an eighth of an ounce and it was $3.99. They spent more time on this little mechanism to get the glue out of the bottle like you squeeze it with this little lever and the fine point, which is what we wanted. But $3.99 for like an eighth of an ounce of glue. Because after when I ran out, I looked at the labeling and I was shocked. So then I went to the trusty glue gun and um, started gluing with that. The problem is, is if it, you know, you, 
you don't want it to ooze out or get on the other on the glass and stuff like that so all right well I think that's kind of a pretty little pocket I really do I mean because you could just because the back is nice and pretty now too you could just clip it in to a page and not have it um, glued down but you could glue it down at the top around here and then have a side tuck if you wanted or you could have a pocket come up here or personally I like just to um, glue here and here and then you've got this whole space here to tuck in uh, maybe a larger ledger card or something you want to um, put in the page you know, if you were making one for like a wedding journal or something and somebody wanted to put their wedding certificate, they could put the whole certificate right behind that. Okay, or a birth certificate or something like that. Okay, so that's that. I showed you how to do that, so we don't need to do this one. Um, the other one, um, what I was thinking is um, a smaller piece. The same con concept. I wanted to use this I woof you um, for the lady that, but I don't want it to be really predominant on the, because um, for one, this is not the kind of dog she has. I didn't want it to jump out. So I was thinking of just putting it on this little. little piece here. I'm making a little pocket. Let's see that does not show. And so I guess that pocket is too small. Let's use about this size. Hmm. Still looks too small. I just wanted to use up some of this bonsai paper, uh, book pages. Okay, let's see here. <clears throat> I don't think that's going to work because I don't really want that in there. Oh well, it was a thought. So, let's see. I think I'm going to do um, on this book page. I'm just going to do half a page. as high as that this part let me cut that out a little bit This book page is, um, is pretty, um, it was pretty old. Um, I don't know 
how old, but maybe. And it's kind of a, oh, not newspaper, but more of a flimsy paper. So I used it for the wedding journal as a altered book that I did. I don't know if anybody's seen that journal, but um, it worked out really nice for a big, uh, big uh, wedding. It was a, actually a guest book. More of a guest book. All right, so let's see. Just plain. I never have an, any pockets. I never have ephemera pre-made. I know um, a lot of the um, people that I watch on YouTube, they always have ephemera made up. But I'm always working on that particular journal and I have to make the ephemera as I go because I don't know what I'm gonna do. And then I have made ephemera in advance like I'm right now I'm doing this because I have no place for these in particular and um, they don't you know all that doesn't go with that so I can't use it you know how that is oh dang it I just move oh you know what see this is I forgot to take the backing off of this one. Darn. Let me see if I can get that off. Forgot to take one more backing off. And, the, and that, then, so then when you glue um, your, let me see if I can get enough off, it'll glue back down. Okay, so see, you can watch what you don't do. You make sure you get all your, um, the back, the other plies off because it'll start bubbling on you on the top. All right, well, that might be enough just to. It'll be fine. I'll just make sure that's in the inside. Get my heat gun over here, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to plug it in. I saw another uh, thing too that I want to try. It's um, it's like those specimen um, cards, you know, where you, like I made for the little dog, the poodle one. Um, but they're they're more they're square, and they have and you can fold them. You know, the back is. The square is only on the front, and the back is solid. But you can cut them on your scan and cut
cut or on your Cricut. I'm going to do I have a Cricut, so I'm going to do it on a Cricut. You just take a rectangle piece of cart like paper and on your Cricut you can make a, another rectangle and just have the Cricut cut that out so when you fold it over you've got this opening right there. It was really kind of a neat way to do that. Instead of trying to cut with an exacto knife or something, which you could do that too, but I don't know why they call them exacto knives because they're never exact. <laughs> so, <laughs> but if you're good at it, some people are very good at it. They use them all the time. Okay, so now. Um, if I do that, it's going to, I'm not going to be able to, hmm. I like that little bird up in the corner. I like for him to show when I fold this back. So let's fold this back. I think I can just, um, this would be glued down anyway. So it doesn't matter. Let's just glue this down real quick. this glue. Okay, so nothing is working today for me. It's all trial and error anyway, you know, um, even when you watch somebody make something, the first time you make it, it's probably not going to turn out the way you, you know, want it to. Okay, one folder. Because I really can't be doing much of this today. I need to do some other things. this over. I think that looks really pretty than just plain old book page. I really like that. Can I sew around this, I wonder? Hold on a second. I'm going to try something. using a straight stitch. I'm going to invent an automatic bottle that automatically closes if you set it up right. Maybe I'll take that super glue bottle because <laughs> it worked really good. You push the, I, ha I wish I had it, but there's like levers on both sides. So when you push the levers, um, the super glue comes out. I think you still have to put the lid back on though. Okay, so 
I think that turned out kind of cute. And I could decorate it with what? Um, what can I decorate it with? See, you've got your little pocket right there. A little channel card in there. Or tag. There's enough room for a good size card. This is a little over three and a half. It's like th three and a quarter. So, let's see. What can we put? That's got a pretty yellow, which we don't... I'm going to have these... Um, I, I'm trying to think. This is uh, digital. I want to say that this one is my porch prints. These flowers. And I um, printed them out in large. And then I, I did um, a medium size. The same print. I did a medium size print and I did um, small. I don't know. If there's somebody else's, I'll see if I can uh, find them. I really need to cut some more anyway because I'm kind of low. Let's see. And I did buy the sticker ones, but I don't like the sticker ones because I don't like the white outline that it leaves around the outside. Now, it could be that I bought the wrong brand. Mm, let's see. It's really not sunflower seed, but this, this won't be used till springtime anyway. Let's see. This one is birds in here. All dark birds. This one doesn't have any feet. I don't know why I had that. No feet. Mm. Little hummingbird. Okay, let's see. I was just leaving that out because I thought it was cute. So, um, I'm trying to look for something to pick up this. I cut off from something else. I do like the blue. I think we'll have any other blue flowers. I have these things, but I don't. No. Okay, well, I probably have flowers somewhere else, but where? I have butterflies. I have people. Lots of people. Well, I was kind of looking for her earlier. Um, I'm going to leave that with that. It might be a pretty journal card with that. Or this one. Yeah, those might be pretty with that pocket. So I'll just save those out. I'm getting um, all this gonna, is going to be organized pretty soon. So that I can find things. I think these are all journal cards. One last place and then I'll call it a day. Because I was thinking a label would be cute on it too. If I could find a cute label. I 
and I'm short on labels right now too. Oh, I bought these plastic folders uh, on Amazon. They don't, they're for currency. So I thought, well, that'll work instead of buying the more expensive ones, but uh, these are much nicer. I mean, they're more expensive, but once I collect enough, get enough of them a little at a time, these are not any good. I had to tape, I have to tape the pocket down to the pocket in front. This one is worthless up here. These ones I made, which, you know, they, and then I bought these heavy duty pockets for my uh, stamps. Um, no, it doesn't, mushrooms don't go with it. Okay, I need a little label. You know, it takes a long time. I don't think people realize how long it takes just to do one tiny little, I want like this blue, like that. Okay. Uh, just to do one, these are from Digital Collage Club. These here, those labels. Right. Um, oh, a number would be cute too. These are from 49 Dragonfly. Let's see if I have a little number. And that's cute up there. So, yeah, this is 49 Dragonfly. She has a website. She has a YouTube channel, 49 Dra Dragonflies, and also a website, 49 Dragonflies, I think, dot com. And she now selling her own digitals. So uh, she does have some freebies. I don't know if they're still available, but um, check out her website. Some flowers, but I don't see anything blue. I'm gonna have to find. This was my porch prints, or some of these are my, my porch prints. For fussy cut flowers, they're pretty much all pink-ish. Isn't that crazy? That I don't have anything blue. I may have some other um, ephemera in another area, but I'm not going to dig it out right now. Hmm. Well, this. No, nope, that doesn't look good. Okay. We have this blue sticker with a bird on it. Hmm. Blue butterflies. This is not going to show too much anyway because it's going to have a, a journal card in it. All right, so I think I'm going to do these. But 
but I'm going to have to find some more blue flowers somewhere. I'm looking in my flower stamps, some napkins. Okay. So, you know, um, on it. Um, Forty nine dragonflies, she uses a lot of washi tape in hers, like in the background. So I'm going to just do this. I'm not sure how she puts it in her backgrounds, but hmm. one, two, three, four. We need a fifth element there then. washi tape isn't very strong at all and then some is all right so that's not gonna happen darn it just didn't get that very straight so let me see if I can't make it look straighter let's do that Put it over a little more okay so I'm gonna do this back first These were printed on cardstock, so and this um, this is on just regular copy type paper. Um, this is from uh, Lorna at um, um, oh, darn it, Some journals, handmade journals? No. My mind is so lost sometimes. I've said it a hundred times, her name. Okay, well anyway, that looks kind of cute, I think. But, yeah, that's, uh, that's cute with that little bird. And then if, you know, put a journal card in there like that. And then maybe one um, on the back side when I put it in the book. Whenever I do that. So I'm going to leave those with that and put that in my um, ephemera box. So it's up to you whether you think this is worth it or not. I think it's a pretty good idea. That probably could be glued down there. Um, 
and I think that turned out cute with the sewing around the edges. Okay, so that's it for today. Um, everybody have a great weekend, and hopefully I'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye.